So yesterday we did a live video on how to tweak, how to modify your orchestral template to compose twice as fast. It was raining, internet went down, so the live crashed. I said that I would repost it and here I am. So things to know, number one, watch the quick 90% discount ad, the orchestration course that we are offering just for three, four days and just 70 copies. Then after the ad, there's the 45 minutes training how to modify your orchestral template to compose twice as fast. Now, during the live video, the 45 minute training, I spent 80, 20, 80% of the time talking about the what to do and 20% of the time actually showing, you know, hands on keyboard, how to do it. And so below this video, I'm going to include links to another six videos, I think, on the how, like it's a, uh, an extra two hours of content of setting up those sketching patches, the strings and percussion patches, then testing the template, and then actually uh, composing with the template, recreating the James Don Howard running on raindrops from the Raya movie with that template, and then composing some live music with, uh, with that template. This comes from our paid template course, this one, these videos here, this one, this one, this one, and beyond, and we are putting them for free here uh, for you. That's all. I hope it's useful. Enjoy. So I'm going to create this coupon for the orchestration course from $9.97 to $99. So new coupon. The coupon name is going to be orchestration99. Amount of $8.98 in dollars. And this is for the orchestration one course. Done. This means that if you go to cinematiccomposing.com, now you go to courses. Join the program, scroll down, and this one that usually sells for $9.97. If you add the coupon, or $99, apply, boom, down to $99. And with that, you'll have access to a 188 lessons of orchestration that take you from the very basics, like size and balance, clefts, transpositions, to understanding specific sections, like the string sections in each one of the instruments, like violin, different instruments part, range. But the coolest part is that this course is not like a textbook where, you know, you read a lot of stuff and uh, we are like, well, this is the cello, it sounds like this. No, we've uh, taken actual recordings and we play the audio and you can look at the score and we highlight where you have to look at so you understand what's going on. Like So there's a ton of work that we have done, so it's easy for you to understand. And we start from the, like the very basics, like this one in particular, like okay, the cello, well, you know, the, its range, how it sounds, to the more advanced textures. Obviously, we also talk about brass and woodwinds and percussion. So yes, we have found the scores where each one of these those instruments is featured. For example, like a double bass is weird to, or a Glockenspiel or Celesta, and you can look at the, you can listen to the audio, look at the score, and see exactly how that instrument sounds in context with the the rest of your casual arrangement. And that is just the instrumentation part of things. Then we move to orchestration side of things, and now we are looking at orchestral textures. And so, for example, once you understood, you know how to write four strings. Now we're gonna go here to orchestrating four strings. I'm gonna show more because this is a long module, as you can see, three pages. And you're gonna see performing melodies, example number one, two, three, four, then performing counterpoints, there you go, up here, then performing textures, performing runs, like this video, for example. And at the beginning of each video, there's obviously an explanation. If I hit play, it's common to see the string runs going with the woodwinds. In this example, though, it's just violins one and two unison. And you can see all these combinations. And once you study this, when you are doing an orchestral mock-up using sample libraries, you know how they should sound. But same thing, performing accompaniment, patterns, things like this, like this one. And so much more. This is just the strings part, orchestrating four strings, but also obviously brass, woodwinds, percussion, and then we go to page two and we put it all together orchestrating for orchestra and we go from a sketch to orchestra. We talk about layers, balance, voicing, etc. So all of this immense 
but easy to follow course for just $99, which usually sells for $9.97 when you apply this coupon. Good luck. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I've got one hour and the goal for today's chat is to speed up the... So a couple of weeks ago, we created the template. So and uh, creating a template these days is easy. Most of the libraries will offer templates. People offer templates for free. Um, and you can download, load, that load, and boom, it loads in Cubase. Great, awesome, fantastic. Then the next thing that we did was with that loaded, we improved the sound, right? So we worked on routing cues, uh, you know, compression, saturation, and a few more things, right? We got rid of the, you know, frequency stacking, we balanced everything, we panned everything. So that was step number one. Then we did all the groups, routing, and then all the stems, and we did the mastering. So improving sound, taking that, making it a, a template that now it's from like a, uh, uh, beginner's templates going pro kind of thing, right? In terms of sound, so we elevated the sound. This week, but this week, but it's still the same template. What we what we could what we are doing this week is we are going to make it more efficient. That's what we're gonna be working on. All right? So that's exactly what we what we're doing. And I'm gonna pull up the slides. So speed layers, fast action patches, and also we've got time, I'm gonna be we're gonna be adapting for film scoring. Okay, so with that being said, what does this mean? Let me see if I can find this. This is slides. Uh, bootcamp. There you go. Exactly. Let me show the screen. There you go. Uh, bootcamp, 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 bootcamp. There you go. Sketching patches. So we're going to have a series of tracks that if we have in our template, it's just going to be very useful and very efficient. And the... Uh, um, we are going to use, I'm going to spend just a, you know, 20 seconds to explain this. But one, for the type of music that we write, and it may be different for everyone, but generally in this niche, we're talking orchestral cinematic music, okay? Epic type of thing. So one, there are, there are always going to be a certain type of instruments that we are going to use very often, let's say strings, right? Or violins, one, one, two. And most importantly, there are going to be sound combinations or arrangements or, a, a, you know, an orchestration recipe, if you can, if you want to call it that way, that we're going to use often, right? Let's say strings ensemble or full orchestra. I'm keeping it super, super simple. Right, but we can uh, we can go a little bit more specific, right? Um, like you know, we, we're gonna uh, and also as you evolve as a composer, your sound evolves as a composer as well, and you start defining your own unique sound. There are going to be things that are, you know, pretty unique yours, right? And you wanna have them ready and available for you. Let's just, uh, hypothesis, just let, let's imagine that for the type of music that I write, um, I use quite a lot of very typical combination uh, for kind of like low brass hits, which is like, you know, chimbasos, bass trombones, and timpani hit. I don't know, just made that up, right? But let's say that I was, I use that often. Well, it'd be nice to have that you know, like stack of patches already built, balance and everything. So I've got, you know, so I don't have to, if if that if I was using that all the time, right? That one is a little bit more specific, not that much, but it's a little bit more specific, but also there are other combinations that are very typical or that you use over and over that you'd like to have them loaded there, okay? So that is what I call fast action patches or sketching patches. Usually are going to be a set of pre-built or catch a recipe type of patches or, or tracks with uh, which like a, usually it's going to be a contact multi with two or three or four or six uh, patches loaded in there, balanced and everything ready to go, right? And these are usually, so hopefully this makes sense. I said 20 seconds, but this was a uh, Mark Giovanni style. It took more like 20 minutes. No, I'm just, uh, but, uh, but took, took like two, three minutes. Let me just lower the, uh, the temperature of the room. All right. So, Super basic, okay? 
It doesn't really matter. Like this is not the important part, really which trucks. The, what's important is how we build these trucks. And that's what I wanted to do with you live. All right. So it's going to be, so in our template, which we have here, oops. We've got the, this is the, again, typical template, starts with piccolo, right? Then we've got bassoons or whatever, you know, flutes, oboe, bassoons, etc., trumpet, blah, 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 the whole thing. Um, this is the orchestra, but this is not a template that would make, you know, my workflow more efficient. It's just a template. Yes, we added the sound layer last week. We, you know, uh, you know, balance, panning, you know, compression, etc. that we did last week groups, reapers, stems. Now the layer that we're adding on top of this is the, you know, workflow layer or to speed up things. So as awesome as this is, I'll, what I'm going to create now is a series of tracks, which are these ones. Okay. So we're going to have template, the sketching patches or fast action patches. I like to have a full orchestra long notes type of patch, a full orchestra short notes type of patch. I also like to have uh, like full section, so a string long notes, string long, uh, short notes, obviously. Then I like to have the the brass long notes, brass short notes, and then woodwinds longs, woodwinds short notes, okay? Also, uh, kind of like one track that has all the orchestral instruments, uh, a soup bomb type of track, and then piano, choir, horn section, legato, trumpet section, legato, stingers. And then kind of like what I called uh, the, well, yes. And then a series of strings, um, kind of like, again, for the type of music that I, for the type of music that we write, I like to have, obviously, I, I will have the violins one, you know, the, with the articulations, like short articulations, violins one, long articulations, or, you know, all the articulations separated, um, and then violins two, violas, blah, 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 the whole thing, right? But also, I like to have a group of, like, 8 to 10 or 16 max strings, tracks, that are very useful, and uh, which are these ones. These guys here, I'm not going to read them, but uh, I'll... I'll, uh, as, as we build this later on, you'll see. And then uh, what I call orchestral enhancers, all right? So this is percussion, basically, right? So, and these are the guys, but not just percussion. So Celesta, Arp, Mark III, all these guys, okay? Okay, so as when, when we have these ready, this will help us compose faster. Simple as that. Let's get this started. So first I need what? Full orchestra, okay? So let's build that. And for this, unfortunately, a player like this is going to limit us because with a player like this, you can load one instrument. End of the story. And there are hacks and workarounds around this, obviously. Uh, but um, what we are looking at is stacking. The easiest, um, the easiest uh, way to do this for us is going to be uh, we're gonna we're gonna start using contact. Okay, so a track, instrument track gonna select contact a track boom so here's contact and maybe what we'll do is um we'll use um i'm gonna go with nucleus um i think nucleus light uh symphobia albion one those are all good options to create this type of patches i'll pull up the the chat in a second i just wanted to get started as soon as possible but uh, let's let's do Nucleus. Nucleus Light is ninety nine dollars, and you could do this with Nucleus Light. Um, with uh, QAs thirteen, you've got uh, Iconica Sketch, and that will give you also enough to for free. So you you buy QAs uh, and even QAs elements, I think, and then it comes with the Iconica Sketch included in the package. So with that, you could also create. Let me. How could I do this? Um, it would look something like this in Iconica. Let me just uh, file, file, import, import tracks from project, tracks from project. Uh, where is this concept composing? Salala templates, Iconica template, uh, this guy here, and then orchestra short, orchestra long. Um, so I don't have to build them, but uh, I'll show you how it would look like in an iconic. Ah, uh, where is this good? Uh, here, 
Iconica down below down here. And if I open this guy, see the stack of trucks here? Strings high. So if I if I get ready. Ah, super uh super low, I think. Yeah. And this is loud, right? Instead. Yes, sorry. So this should go, this should uh let's see, let's balance this guy just for a sec. Give me just one sec. So Iconica here on the other end. Why is it so low? Well, the tracks here are at around zero. Iconica is at around minus three, so no big deal, but here zero, zero. Then I think we're gonna need to create also um stem. So here are Let me see. Uh, so how did we organize? So we've got the here are the stems, here are the reverbs, and here are the groups. Okay, groups. But this guy should go here. Short verb should go here. Okay, cool. And then we've got strings, short, long, etc. And we are going to need now. We're gonna need to create another group, which is I'm gonna duplicate this one, which is going to be ensembles. And samples. Let's take a look at this group. And samples is going to go to orchestra. Great. And we have, do not need this guy. No effect. Uh, saturation, yes. And uh, we're going to set it up similar. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. And we do not need this EQ. Let's get rid of these two guys. This guy's. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. Ah, so now if we take this ensemble short and this instead of going to stereo out goes to ensembles, ensembles here. Let's see. Okay, still sounds low. So it is going to, we're gonna need to bring the, this guy, gain. Ah, that's just, that's kind of what we were. So, see, I didn't. I I I'll, uh, I will build one of these right now live, so you can see how I build one. But I just wanted to show you in Iconica, it would look like this. We will build one with contact, and we'll use the uh, Nucleus library. But what we've got here is, as you can see, strings high ensemble that would sound like this solo, right? And then we have next, we've got strings low and several. We've got woodwinds high. Here, sorry. We've got woodwinds low. A little bit low in volume, in my opinion. Brass. Kind of thing. And then we got the brass low. Kind of thing, right? All together. Right? And here you can see the mix. As you can see, it's a specific mix. The, the wood beans are a little bit too low. Uh, the wood. And then see the panning here. Uh, the panning here. So it's all balanced, all, you know. And then each one of these, each one of these has a specific, you know, close, far mic setting, blah, 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 the whole thing, okay? So that's how it would look. And um, as we are composing, this would come in very handy, right? Some Sometimes. Uh, if we've got something like this, which we composed last week, right? Let's see, let's take a listen to this. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me bring uh, this guy. Um, where's the stereo out? Stereo out here, stereo out here. There you go. Let's see. Oops. Boom. 
boom, boom, and that's it. There you go. So, for example. So, so if we've got this, for example. Right, if we want that more full orchestra kind of like. Of course, the ends are like this. Then we can do it super quickly. Nah, needs to go down in volume uh, minus. So it's going to be 15. And it would be something like this. Let's do this again. There you go. So this thing, which took us nothing to do, right? It speeds uh speeds up the composing workflow. Is this perfect? No, this is far from perfect. Um could we get more separation, more detail, more independent layers if we had all these patches separated, more controlled? Yes. Yes, 100%. But sometimes for sketching or for fast action, things like this will come in handy because there's a lot that we've that we've packed into this one track. Um, the different patches, the balance, the panning, etc. Right? Cool. Let's build one of these. And by the way, let's on top of that, let's, let's use this, this guy. This is going to be also 15. And this is going to be routed to two ensembles as well. And we're gonna set there you go, this guy. So let's add so, just some some long notes here. Cool, there you go. And now Sorry, I should have showed the, the piano, but this is what I wrote, right? It sounds like this. Which is not perfect. Let me show the dynamics. Uh, so pedals, expression, modulation. And I think this one should go... Where is it? There you go. You got on the other end. You can see it here. This guy here. So I think this should this would need a little bit of reverb. Which reverb? The I think the long, uh, the long reverb. I think a, a little bit. Let's see. Louder. So we can I can hear the reverb. Should have not done this here. Should have done it in the in the here in the ensembles. Ensembles. We're gonna add a little bit of beat reverb first. Mid reverb. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. No bass. So mid reverb here. Too much obviously. Minus ten. Yep. And then on top of that, a little bit of long reverb. This one is gonna be minus twelve. It's going to be minus 10, let's see, or minus 9. Yep. Yeah, something like this. Sorry, it's a little bit too loud. Let me... It's to be improved, but it 
Okay, so it's not perfect. We're doing this super fast, but I just wanted to kind of like prove the point, right? That, uh, that this, sorry, that this is useful. Okay, let's build one of these. Generally, I like to have them right up there because these are the most important to me. Okay, and so these I imported them, I had them pre-built, but let's build one of them. And uh, this uh, is uh, Iconica, but again, we were talking, you can do this with Albion, with Nucleus, with uh, Symphobia, with uh, things like this. I'm going to use Nucleus, okay? So let's uh, start with this instrument. And so the steps that we're going to take here, it's going to be... Uh, let's duplicate this guy. So, uh, so creating, creating fast action patches or sketches. So the first thing that we're going to do is stack patches. Second thing that we're going to do is, so yeah, st uh, yeah, stack, balance, pan, panning, and then uh, EQ, okay? Because the same process that we did in the template, we have to, let me just get rid of this guy. The same thing that we did in the template, right? When we improved the sound, this because it, it, the, when we improved the sound, what we did first, we balanced things, right? Second, we panned, right? And then we talked about the frequency stacking problem. All this frequency stacking is going to also happen in here, right? In here, we've got all these tracks or to all these patches stacked. We're going to have the frequency stacking problem, so we have to solve it inside here before it goes out. All right, so let's do this. So, Nucleus, uh, multi-patches, single patches, multi-patches, no. Single patches, sections, strings, no, sorry. Uh, sections, there you go. I guess, strings, string. Uh, where do I have the entire strings? Uh, how did I do this? Uh, let me see. Uh, file, I'm going to open, load, load, templates, nucleus. I did this a couple of years ago. Fast action patches, orchestral, orchestral short notes, open, find them. There you go. This guy. Nucleus strings, nucleus strings. And why is that I didn't find it? I didn't find the strings. Tight. Sorry. Ah, full ensembles. Duh. Okay, so. <laughs> well, but you know what? Let's uh, let's work with this. So what did I do here? Number one, I loaded the. Let's say I loaded the strings, spiccato patch. I decided to go with this one. Second, the woodwind, staccatissimo patch. And then the brass, staccatissimo patch. And then finally, the, the choir. And so what this gives us is strings. Sorry. String, there you go. And uh, cool. So that's the first thing. To so take in, uh, the thing with Nucleus is it has the, where is this, advanced? It has the start. I think I could control this some. Uh, I had it to 18. 18, okay. Do this at uh... minus twenty to all of them. So boom, 
boom, boom, boom, yes, exactly, there you go, boom, let me see, okay, uh, the brass is not here, start, minus 20, okay, good, and then, And we've got control over choir with this guy here. So how did I how did I do that? Uh, in here, I would go here, and then I would uh, for choir. Oh. Nah, let me see. If I did it differently. So in here, click here, boom. And then you're gonna add a, in this case, number two. This is number two. So you just go here to amplifier. Make sure that you've got edit all groups selected. Add modulator, external sources, MIDI CC, and in this case, whatever is the, the fader that you want to control volume. In this case, it is uh, number two. So you just go and, and write number two and minus one. Can I control all, all voices and everything? That's it. Now I'm going to eliminate this one because I already have it created. But uh, I think it's right click here and delete. But that's how I control. Um, volume for this one and you would be like you could you could you could say isn't it way easier to just you know click here learn me the automation and uh, learn me the automation and then just uh move this one and there you go now you control can control volume yes but then i would lose the balance i would lose the balance that i've created so i balance things internally here and then Remove me the automation. And then I can, and then so. I can control the volume of all of them. I can lower the volume. without messing with the balance here, because this is minus 6.4, minus 10.2, minus 5, and plus 8, right? For all of these to work in balance. All right, cool, awesome. So that's that. So this is the first one. So this is going to be orchestra, orchestra short. Then we're gonna go with the next one, we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna, um, and this has this goes to stereo out. No, this should go to ensembles. There you go. I'm just t testing balance. Yep, works great. Ah, right. cool. Rock and roll. So orchestra short. Now we're gonna duplicate 
tracks and uh, we're gonna go in here and we would create the long notes okay so again we would uh, load all these instruments by the way i forgot to do the eq so let's go back in here and let's do the eq okay so we're gonna go inside the first one and we're gonna scroll down a little bit here we're gonna go to the group inserts and then we're going to add an eq and it's going to be like a one or two band eq something like this loading that eq okay cool and so we've got the eq so this is for the strings right yep. and we're gonna do what we did which is we're gonna find that annoying muddy frequency so we're gonna go with band number one and we're gonna bring up the gain like this we're gonna lower the q like this and then we're gonna find that frequency annoying frequency i think it's around 230 and so we're gonna lower it a little bit make this a little bigger bypass so for your saddle cleans the low end a little bit we will do the same thing with the other instruments and uh, with uh, woodwinds brass choir and that way we would clean the entire stack to avoid frequency stacking all right hopefully this makes sense then the next instrument the, the, the following instrument that we would have would be um the orchestral long notes that for the interest of time what i'm gonna do is yes okay so save changes no save changes no save changes no save changes no and now we're gonna load because i've got all this ready so we don't have to spend lots of time here and the next one is going to be it's going to be this one spotlight there you go let's see What's going on with these dropouts? Have to reboot the computer, it's been running for a while. I have to leave in seven minutes. Right? Let's do this up. Thanks. Give me just one sec. Okay. Close. Okay. Idem, da -dem. Cool. There you go. This goes to ensembles. So all good. Web, 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 web. So it's, this is, uh, you know, very immature and childish, but again, this kind of like proofs. You got it. So take a listen to this by itself. Ah, okay, 
we could, we could work on this. But uh, yeah, let's import real quick the rest of it, just for the interest of time. Here, I'm going to file, import, or yeah, import, tracks archive, uh, no, tracks from project. Let's uh, use the, I don't have the nucleus. I've got all the patches. I can share this with you. And I will also, below this video, I'll, uh, I already did this um, in the past, like a year ago or so, with nucleus, also with uh, Albion, and also I did one with uh, uh, with Iconica. So if you want to watch like the four hours video of me putting this together, I'll include this below the video, okay, below this one. So here I just wanted to present the concept. But this would look something like this when finished. Small template, uh, Iconica template. Let's uh, let's grab this guy. Let's select all tracks. Select all, and then let's. Uh, Let's add this as well. Uh, yeah, let's add all of them. Whatever. Okay, hopefully you load them. There you go. So I, then now I would move this up, up, up here. Yeah, so. I would move this up here. All right, so we've got, and uh, let's just go from here to here, and uh, let's bring up the volume of these guys a little bit. Yeah. So orchestra short note. Uh, orchestra long notes. String short notes. Sorry. Strings long notes. We'll be in short notes. notes It's reverb, obviously. It's going direct to, to, to stereo out, but uh, if we select they selected all of this, it went here, and we now add these. No, we send them to ensembles, so they should. Then, I don't know why this happened, but so now this is going to ensembles, yes? So we'll be as long, would make way more sense. It has the reverb now. Kind of thing. Oh, brush short notes. Too much reverb. Brass long notes. Percussion. The entire thing. Horns, like epic horn type of. Again, these all are, uh, in this case, from Iconica because it would be easier for me to load everything. 
But uh, if you want to watch the entire video, the four hours video of me working on Iconica to build all these patches, I'll, I'll include below this video or the same thing with Albion or with uh, Nucleus. It's, uh, it's a long, long video. But... Why? Uh, what happened here? Oh, oh, I think I, I... Tempo, tempo, there you go. Not too loud, but... But that uh, kind of works. And then we would, you would have a strings high staccato, a strings high spiccato, closer sound, closer sound. Strings, I like to have like a really big strings low staccato type of sound. Which in this case, a combination of strings and uh, the strings staccato. Sounds like this. Plus strings spiccato. Sounds like this. Sorry. And a close type of cello sound with uh, close mics more than the that adds bite to the you know like like big strings with the cellos bite without the cellos, which is nice. But so I like to have one of these big strings type of sound. Now I've got to leave. But there you go, violins one, two legatos, violins one, two in octaves legato, same thing with cellos and double basses, octaves legato, which is super, super, what did I do, hey, there you go, uh, useful. Type of thing, a string ensemble, uh, string slow ensemble to separate highs and lows, it's, it's string sus uh, and tremolo, like. Like how useful this patch could be. Um, so things like this, right? I've got Celesta, Marimba, Block and Spiel, Arp, Yati, Cymbal Hit, and Cymbal Rolls, etc. Tam Tam, Snares, uh, Timpani, Swells, Timpani Hits, Timpani Hit, Swells. Uh, anyway, Grand Casa. And that's it. And that concludes. Those are very useful patches that will speed up our, your composing workflow. In the next video, I'm going to explain. Uh, we're going to adapt the template for film scoring. And then we're going to put. Yeah, and with this, we will have finished the entire template. We uh, created the template initially. We loaded the template initially. We've got all the tracks. Then we improved the sound. Next, we added the sketching patches for added the speed and uh, improve workflow. And then we are gonna be adapting the template for film scoring. So we will add a few tracks on top and you know, uh, markers and a few more things. And then we will put the template to test. To put the template to test, we'll do three things. Number one, we'll compose a love cue, kind of like positive emotions cue. Second, attention cue, action mid intensity. And finally, we'll score on a C. All right, that's coming up. Uh, today was a little bit shorter, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed, this was useful and I'll catch, catch up in the next one. Bye-bye. See ya.